Hey, I'm Gus Arendelle with Springer Mountain Farms. I'm here on the Cooking with Miss O show with the charismatic, wonderful and charming Mary Beth Oxenden. Mary Beth, thank you for having me today. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. We're going to do some Springer Mountain cooking. We Is are going right? to do some Springer Mountain cooking. Yes. And looking so far to, to you showing me something new. I'm, I've just walked in here and, and you let me be on your show and I'm so excited. And I have no idea about what we're going to cook today, except I think that it's a cookout. Something yes. for the summertime. Yes, okay. yes, something easy for the moms and it doesn't heat up their kitchen. So, because sometimes you know in the summer you don't want to. It does get yes, hot. Yes, it does. About that. Okay, yeah. so this is after maybe when dad gets home oh, and yes. cooling down in the afternoon. And that way they can all be outside and have a wonderful time. Is this recipe in your cookbook? Actually, it's not because I'm starting another cookbook. Okay. And I've been working on it, and it's one that's just simply all Spring Mountain Chicken recipes. I love it. That's music to me. So, but but uh, now you can get these recipes that are on your show yes. off your website. Yes, you can. Okay. Cookingwithmisso.com, yes. yes. I guess. It is. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yes. That's easy to remember. Okay, now. No, well, okay, what, what are we going to well, do, Mary Beth? First of all, I've talked a lot about using my mom's um, yes. cruet. And, and I wondered why you didn't bring it today. Well, because um, a lot of people want to know where they could get something like that, and they can. Um, okay. They have good seasons is what did my mom's when they first came out, and that right. was in the 60s, early 60s. Right. And so they've done another one, and it's at Ingalls is where I've seen it. And it's on a top shelf right where the salad dressings and stuff are. And here's what it looks like. And you get two or three packages of just the Italian dressing by them. And looks like this. Yes, and then they have the zesty Italian and some other flavors just up there so you can get more. Okay. And so it's about, um, well, actually, it's about somewhere about $2, not quite $3. For, for, for that, for to that. buy that's that. Great. So okay. that's not very expensive, and it, boxes, and it tells like you everything It's here. glass. Yes, it's it is. It's not plastic, it's mm -hmm. glass. That's right. Now, the difference with this one is this is like this, where my whole thing comes off. Correct. This makes it easier for kids or anybody, so, you know, sometimes you get too much dressing on that old one. Right. So right. that's what I like about it. And then this comes off, and you can, but it has, that's what everybody wanted, what my mom had. It has where it shows you on the line where everything goes, your water, your vinegar, and everything like mine does. I like it. And See made that? by the same people that made your mom's. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's great. I know. know. Isn't that, that wonderful? That one, huh? So this is the new generation one. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, so they don't have real bad stuff in their in their um, packaging. They um, and you said this box with the, the with the dispenser comes with a couple of packages. Yes, in it, it does. It comes with a couple. Okay. Yes. Are they all different or are they all the same? No, they're all just the regular. Um, okay. Italian and zesty Italian dressing. That's the one I get. And then you're doing your olive oil, and then you're doing your right. vinegar. Now let me just tell you about the vinegar. This is what gets your gut healthy. And um, I had some couple of shows. I ago. know you did. Every That's morning before I eat my breakfast, um, I eat. I have some water, and I put in either a teaspoon or a tablespoon or a half a tablespoon and I wouldn't do more than a tablespoon or she wouldn't be able to probably get it down but, <laughs> I wasn't you know bad. but it's wonderful because it keeps your gut healthy okay. and that's what we need that's you what know? you want so and it keeps you cleaned out so it's wonderful now you always got to remember to shake it and Ingalls has this with their vinegars and stuff. So I buy it there. Now okay. some of the other stores, which I'm not gonna mention because I don't they don't sponsor me, okay. um, they have the smaller size and and it's price rise. I would go to Ingalls to get the bigger one because when you um, do it with a smaller one, it's almost the same price as this size at the other stores. Okay. So economically... Economically, mm -hmm. you, you want to go with, the, with, yes. with this right here. Yes. Now, I get this from Ingalls, too, my olive oil, and been using Bragg. that forever. Bragg's, and it's organic, and it's from California. It's been around for a long time now. It has been. Yes. It sure has. And so the olive oil... I, I could get this at other stores too, but they don't have this size. They have a smaller size, and and so you're actually getting more by going to Ingalls and getting that size because okay. the price on the smaller one is a little bit less, but not enough less to make it. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Make yes. it yes. You want to go with this? Yeah. Get a little bit 
cheaper in yeah. the long run. In the long run, in it long lasts run. longer, okay. you know? So we do that, and then the third thing is you water with this, and then, and it has all the lines here so that you'll know, just like on mine. And then when you um, put in the first ingredient, well, the two first, then you dump this, and it says it on the back that you'll put it in, and then you put in the third product. Okay? okay, and you shake it up after you put the two. It's the water and the vinegar, and then put this in. Water, vinegar, you pack yeah. it. And shake it up, and then put the olive oil in. Okay. And it says that, and if you don't have one on the package, it tells you um, how you can do it with spoons, you know, measuring cups and spoons. Correct, it's got the, it's got the measurements on the back though. Yes, okay. it does, if you don't have this. All right, so. Okay. All right, so. How are we gonna get started? And okay. one thing, we said we're gonna cook it outside. We're we gonna cook this on the on the charcoal grill. What are we gonna cook it on? We're, we're having it cooked on a grill, a gas grill. A gas grill. Yes, and then after um, we we'll send that out. We're gonna do this first, and then we'll go to a break, and then we'll work on this and this. Okay. What okay. can I do to help you? Well, get ready? so we're gonna leave this here alone. So now we need to um, do this first, and then we need to do the honey. So let's open up all of this. Okay, we're okay. gonna open these up. Yes, please. Let's do water first. Actually, it's the vinegar first. All right, I hope we don't have a big mess going here with most time I get honey everywhere. <laughs> don't worry about okay. it, don't worry. Um, honey. Ooh, you smell it. I know. Do you see okay. the line for I the V? I do, a little bit more. Okay. Oops. I think that's it, isn't it? Okay. And then the water. Water, you've got water in the pitcher over there. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Mary Beth and... All right, we've got that. And now we put this package in it. Okay, I'll put the package in it. Here. Okay. If you'd like to do that. I will. Okay, we've got our packet. Mm -hmm. Pour this in there of oh, Zesty Italian. This stuff is so good. I know you've made it oh, before. I love it. I put it on everything. I marinate with it, uh, salads. I tell you, like, uh, I want like shish kebab, you know, or mm -hmm. something like that. Put this yes, on, let it I marinate like in there yes. overnight and put your mushroom on there and uh -huh. spring them out in pieces of spring them out farm chicken. chicken. Maybe an onion. Yes, definitely. Okay, a red right. onion. Okay, okay we've now got a packet in there. We're gonna shake this up. Okay, you... let me get this lid off. Yeah, let me hold it for you so it won't flip. Because when it's new, after it's been washed a while, it's not right, so it's hard. Right, it's gonna loosen up. But, yeah. but boy, could we make a mess if it yes. didn't do right on this? Okay, you want me Thank to shake you. this for yes, you? Yes, please. Is it is it done? Yeah, I've got it tight. That's plenty. Okay. Let's do the olive oil. You want to put that into the line? Okay. Multitasking. Yes. And the line is, that's what's hard when it's, um, we've done this. Okay, I believe, is it right there? Is it? I believe it is right okay. there. Okay. Okay. No, that's the, that's the little zesty okay. thing. Um, here it is. Gotcha. Right here. Yeah, thanks. Okay. This is what makes it good. Well, uh -huh. it all makes it good, but this helps a whole lot. It does, doesn't it? You think? If I get a salad somewhere to go, uh -huh. I come home and use this dressing <laughs> <laughs> and throw theirs out. Okay. So, all right. All right, Did and like I said, remember to secure that lid good when it's new. That's right, you're exactly right. All right. Now, let's... Um, all right, we've got... That. Okay, we've got our zesty Italian. Maybe. Yes, and oh, now we're great. going to, what I do usually when I'm uh -huh. going to do honey, I put a little bit of oil in, in the, and so this and is it, one fourth of oil we're going to put of, I mean not and one fourth. Rub, and you're rubbing that around on the sides. Yes, just a little bit here, okay, and I'm doing yeah. it on the sides because and the honey, we're doing a fourth of a cup of honey. Okay. Could you? Hold that up, Sure. Please. All right, and I'm still, I'm, I'm, okay, why'd you put that in there? Could maybe? you put it up a little bit higher? Okay. Thank you. That? Because whoa. the the honey won't stick. And that, whoa, good good job, Mary <laughs> Beth. <laughs> Done this for a while. Now, we're gonna put it okay, in there, just the pour it all here. over there. Yes. That looks good before it's cooked. 
Isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. Now pour all of this over it. Okay. Now the zest you take. I'll put that you down. Take that. Yes. If you've got some kids, this could be real messy. <laughs> it usually is, but you know what? Kids are really good in the kitchen. They really they are. They a lot of fun. The only thing... I you... like it when you have the children. Oh, I do too. And we're going to do some now this summer that they're out of school. Good. Okay. And now... Go All right. I think we need to go to break. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome back. We've got the um, chicken grilling. Right, and, the um, chicken are grilling. We're yes. going to cut some yes. vegetables, I We think. are. We are. We're going to cut some and we're going to saute it in this frying pan. Right. Um, usually, you can do three ways with this. You can do this on the grill, in a grill pan, or you can do it um, in the saute pan, or you can bake it in the oven. It's summertime. We don't want to bake in the oven. That'll make the kitchen hot. That's so great. we're going to do this, and that that doesn't you know matter so much I, like that. I like that. Okay, like and we're going to eat outside. Now this is a pampered chef knife. I love these in the kitchen when you have kids. Matches your coat. Does does. <laughs> and this is from Talbots. Okay, They're from Talbots. It's a great too. outfit. And it's and y'all can get this now. This is in the stores now. Well, that is a nice summertime outfit. It, it is. is. And when I go walking, it's wonderful. So I like it. I can use it all year. Yeah, it does. You know? it's, it's so, nice and I, I usually walk every morning after I've had breakfast. And sometimes I take my grandbabies and um, want my middle one. He's precious. Uh -huh. And he loves to stroll. And um, he's wonderful. So oh, that's neat. we have a great time. He loves the trucks and stuff as they're going by in Central, you know, because uh -huh. it's small town. The big trucks? Yes, yeah. he loves them. Buses. Teach them how to go like that, and sometimes they'll blow their horn for Oh, them. I forgot about that. We used that's to do right. that when we were kids. That's right. Now, so I've got this knife from Pampered Chef. It comes out, and it's got little holes in it so it doesn't get icky if you have something, you know, and it, it keeps it so that... When they used to have stuff like this, it would get icky after a while because it didn't have any air and ventilation to oh, it. Oh, so I guess you can you wash to, this also, though. I right? wash it, yeah. Wash it, and, yeah. Uh, so it doesn't, That's a great idea, though, mm -hmm. and so you can get water in there, like I said, or whatever detergent you know, or something yes, like that. that yes. And, yes, and when you wash them, sometimes they wouldn't dry out right, and yes, that could that, cause mold. Yeah. So this is a wonderful... That. That's why I do these knives. Okay, Gus, how about... This is how I'm doing it. Okay. Um, I'm going to have... You do it while I get the other stuff, and I just do it real thin. And okay. we're probably not going to do all of those since it's just us. Okay, just a couple of them. Yeah. I would say do two of these. Okay. And two of these. And two squashes. Now with the squash, this is how I do it. Okay. I take all that green off. I take that off. Right. And then I just start slicing it. Slice it thin. And another thing I do with this one. Correct. If it's a bigger squash... Our little ones too. Cut it it's in half. easier if you do it like that. Okay. Okay, like that. Like that. Just All right. way. Thank you, Gus. Okay, well I will. Uh, you gonna work on that? I'm for gonna us? work on this and watch my and, fingers. Okay. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yes. Um, now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a little bit of olive oil. Um, a little olive oil. Yeah. And actually, what I'm gonna do is put it in here, and we're gonna toss it. I would say that's probably an eighth of a cup. And then we're going to put the salt in. Now, if you're a bad chopper like me, I guess you could kind of, you could chop these things again, correct? Just like the squash? Yes, you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. I may do that. I'm getting, okay. little, I'm getting a little thick. Okay, what, you're putting sea salt in there? I'm putting sea salt. And I'm salt and pepper. organic. You can get this at Ingalls. And, um... It's the organic, simply and, organic. You know, another thing that we did that, that we didn't mention with that chicken that we're cooking right now, uh -huh. we put a little salt and pepper in it too before we, we did. Before we, we did before we started cooking. It. You're right. So you might want Thank to put a little you. Salt Why we went to a commercial. That's right. And then the black pepper that's simply organic from Angles. Okay. Okay. Now just start. Well, I'll start putting that in there, okay. and we will do all this here. I'll do that, and you just cut. Looking good. Uh-huh. I love zucchini. Great There's team. a lot of things. Yes. You're right. Um, Did you grow this? Do you have a garden? No, I wanted one. Do you have a tomato plant? 
No. You don't have anything I on the back porch. I want all that. I want all of that. I have a screen in porch. Oh. <laughs> I know. Well, that's my sense that it's not going to work there. No, I don't think the tomato is going to work too good right there. So, well, maybe but I don't another know. Another thing, I have a lot of deer. Yes, do you have a backyard? Uh huh, and they're in my backyard. And, and the deer in your backyard? Yeah, so. I tried to plant a garden two years ago, and they ate every bit of it. Yeah, so. another thing that I remember, and just so people know, I, they, they can still buy your cookbook. Yes, there online, it is. and and it's over, I think, over there behind me. But when uh -huh. when you said uh, talking about your house and stuff, the cookbook, it, the cover of it is like the inside of your kitchen. Is it, it is. Not? It's yes. blue, the blue and white, like your curtains yes. and stuff. It's like my curtains for the toile. Yes. And then the check is my um, walls. Okay. Uh, and for the people out there and your fans, I don't know if they know this or not, but. Mary Beth did never, ever, ever have a microwave. And oh, yeah. It's never. And so I went out and bought Mary Beth and a microwave. And sent it to me after and the sent last it show. To her. And uh, how did that turn out? Have you used Wonderful. the microwave? Um, actually, to be honest, not yet. Oh, no. She's My had it for two gonna, months. She's going to help me with it. Okay. And um, she said, Mom, so I'll help you with minute, it. One minute, two minute, hit on. I know. On. Okay. <laughs> I know. So we need okay, one, more one more squash. One more squash. Yes. We've got enough. Well, that'll give us something to talk about. And, Yes. Months to come. The, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try to do the microwave experiment. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to do healthy with the microwave. Cause yeah, but I think we talked about that. Right? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you'd like it to heat water with or something. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, actually, I don't have much counter space in my kitchen. Right. I hope and I so, didn't take any up with it. And so right, I'm getting a little a, a pulley cart to put it on. To put it on. Okay. Yes. And then I can just meantime roll it it's back just into in the, the way. cabinet. No, it's <laughs> no, it's not. It was wonderful. Um, I was surprised, very well, much so. Anyway, now, but and your I daughter, think, I would think, has got a microwave. Oh, if she has everything, yes. Okay. You know, I just have a small little house, and right. I like cottages. I'm a cottage person. Yeah, something cozy, right? Yes, yeah. I love cozy. Like and, cozy. Uh, yes. You don't have to oh, do. That. Let's just do that. Those okay, in. put those yeah. in. You know, and before Can I forget you do it. This? Uh, one of your biggest fans, I think I, I mentioned him before, uh, is a guy named Clyde Williams, who lives in Tacoma. You said, Clyde, yes. yeah, and you and you uh, sent him an autographed picture one time. We just wanted to say hello to Clyde, and uh, he sure does enjoy the show. He well, I he appreciate is, Clyde. He is a faithful, faithful watcher. And maybe one day, Clyde, I will get to meet you because I don't live too far t from That's Tacoma. Right. So um, maybe Gus can tell me how to get there, and yeah. I would love to meet y'all. I'll take you to Bingo. Clyde goes to Bingo a lot. They what kind of what kind of onion you got there? That's um, Valdea from my vegetable stand, and you didn't buy this at grocery store. You got a special stand you go to? Yeah, all of oh, this. I, okay, me all too. All of this. That's yeah, what I go me to. Too. And they're yeah. wonderful. They're Do on, they grow it? Um, you think? Yes, they get it from what it was you know, when I was young, and it just turned over still to friends. Thank you, Gus. <laughs> Boy, I'll make you an apple pie for that one. <laughs> Two apple pies. <laughs> that's not what my kids say. Oh, no, they just tease me. Well, um, that's all right. You're their mom. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So they'll but, get the same thing with their kids. Yes, they yeah. will. Yeah. So, but anyway, could you um, do glad. this okay, and slice, slice this like this? Okay, and why then, an angle like that? Because then it makes it smaller. Okay. And then it's easy to saute. Okay. Instead of chopping it, and it looks prettier. Well, okay. Okay. Okay, add yes. an angle like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then, while he's doing that, I am going to try to get a clove out of here to saute. Let me look over here for another knife. Mary Beth, you gave me, time gets away, it's probably been over a year ago, a couple of years ago now a garlic press. Yes, yes. And they're wonderful. So me and my infamous thinking that I'm the cornbread king, I like to try different things, stuff like yeah. that. And so I press some uh, of that garlic, uh, I press some out with your press. It makes it real strong. Oh, when you it do does. That. Don't and I put that in it. there with my cornbread and that was not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> so no. garlic cum Gar cornbread garlic is cornbread not is not a, it's not a good thing. How no. many cloves did you do? One cloves. Just one. Would be, I, I think just one. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but boy, it makes it like I said strong. And, it is and strong. Anyway, I think peppers. Yes. Would uh, you do this for me? Would you yes. tear them apart and put them in here? And I'm going to use your knife with this oh, okay. garlic clove. But yes, I did. Um, I was trying a new recipe that I made up, and um, I have actually. I don't want to say this 
but I have never flopped when I make up my recipes. Wow. I Boy, flopped with this one. I could make a book of floppers. <laughs> Stay <laughs> here about a book of bloopers I or something. Just, I just have this knack that somebody told me, and I didn't know it. Somebody had to tell Over me. how to cook everything good. Well, just that I know what goes together. Well, I, that, well I guess that's the, that's a, that's what that's she a said. big that's a big piece of it, though, is knowing what goes together. I said cornbread and, and a lot of garlic does not. <laughs> um, well, I just thought, you know, garlic bread like he eats spaghetti and stuff. You're exactly right. I'm going to go home and try it on mine okay. and see if we can Maybe see. Maybe I had too much. Maybe I had too much garlic. That's what flopped mine. I had yes, too, much too much garlic. Yes. Yeah. So I've got to go back and try it again. Now I like all of this. I want. Okay. I just learned. All right. Now we've got we've got squash, zucchini, onion, clove. Yes. Not uh, clove. What? Garlic. Oh, well, it's garlic. garlic clove. A clove you're of right. garlic. But you're it's, right. Gotcha. But there's cloves. Okay. Too. It's all right. Good. Now, since you, if Smelling you don't have good. a, if you don't have a press, you just smash it with the back here, and then you just do it like this. Okay. A lot of times. Like again, I'll I'll take the the garlic and knife it or whatever cut it with a knife because you press it and that press it it concentrates it. It does. It does. It, it does. really does. I love it. Okay, now, but some people don't have that, and so I want no. to make sure they We've see got, how okay, to do it. Okay, we got our chicken now, cooking. Yes. All right, now you're going to saute. You're going to put any oil in there? Yes, I put some in here, and I'm going to toss this. Oh, okay, you put oil. You put a little oil in in here. And we've already, have we put the salt and all in here too? And the garlic yes, and black did. paper. Yes, we did. We put well, salt in it doesn't look we like did. we have much pepper. So let me do a little Can't bit. Can't have enough pepper. No, I know. I love black pepper. And it's healthy too. It, yes, it is. It's very healthy. Now, too. something I learned, because I love to read stuff and study it, and I, if I see one, I That's don't. That's great, Mary Beth. Let's cut that one. Okay, I cut, cut that one at the beginning. Cut that in half and then correct. cut it. Down. That's going to be too hard. It has to be thin for it to cook good. Yeah, or it, and, won't, cook, um, it won't cook all the way through. No, it won't. You're exactly right. It's just, just too thick. It's not going to cook right. through. Okay, you got the oven on. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I got ahead of myself. No, Mary you're Beth, fine. let's take a break. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Hey, I'm Gus Sandell with Springer Mountain Farms again. Just want to welcome you back to the Cooking with Miss O show. And we've been showing you about how we're going to have a grill out in the afternoon at home. And we've got some Springer Mountain Farms chicken. Mm -hmm. We've got grilled zucchini and squash and a little garlic and beautiful, beautiful watermelon. It looks really good. And yeah. I tell you what, Mary Beth, if it tastes as pretty as it looks, it's going to be a home run sandwich. <laughs> well, Gus, with us cooking, how could it not taste as good as well, it looks? it sure does, sure right. does look good. And about how long does it take to prepare this meal, Mary Beth? Well, when you're grilling it, probably about maybe 30 minutes. That's what I was going to say, yeah. about 30 minutes. That's In fact, probably the, the what tastes the most is the grilling of the chicken yes. instead of the sauteing. That is, that yeah, because everything else is but It's good. great. It's real light. It's uh -huh. breezy, good for a summer That's afternoon. Right. And uh, you've got seedless watermelon here. Everybody loves watermelon. Any particular yes. reason why you picked seedless watermelon? Um, because it was from South Carolina. All I right. Can't. When I when South Carolina has their stuff, I like to always buy that. That's good. You know, so. Okay. Well, thank y'all so, so much, much for coming, and thank hope you, you try it out. Please thank do. You. A new bye bye. Song.